Manchester United fans are keen to see Manuel Ugarte in action once the international break is over and it might not be too long to wait. Manuel Ugarte was unveiled as Manchester United's new number 25 and presented to fans at Old Trafford over the weekend. The former PSG midfielder was not signed in time to be registered to play against Liverpool. While United are taking the conservative approach, in any case, worried Ugarte is not fully fit. Eric Ten Hag issued an overly cautious verdict on Ugarte's fitness. Manuel Ugarte didn't play so far in the season, not one match minute. And so he needs to build his fitness state and then we have to build him in the team. And then I am sure he will contribute to our level and he will be an important player, but that will take a couple of weeks, maybe even months. Manuel Ugarte does not share the same opinion as Eric Ten Hag, believing he is in good condition and ready to make an impact. Ugarte is already on international duty with Uruguay and spoke to the press upon arrival. He explained he has been keeping himself fit while he waited for his move to Manchester United, which went through on deadline day. Quoted on DirecTV Sports, Manuel Ugarte said, I feel very good. I prepared myself and I'm always ready. Ugarte is a model professional and he is expected to play a key part for Uruguay in their upcoming international fixtures. He has already been pictured training at Uruguay's base as they prepare for their upcoming matches. Manuel Ugarte is excited to join Manchester United, having waited weeks after agreeing personal terms with the Red Devils. Speaking to ESPN, Ugarte admitted it was a mental test to wait for so long, adding it was a difficult month. I had to calm my anxiety a little, but now I am very happy, thrilled, hungry and excited. Ugarte expresses that he is feeling positive about his £42 million move. It is a team in change because new owners came, the project is very good, I love the atmosphere on a day-to-day -day basis, the desire to succeed that exists in the team and the history that the club has. Manuel Ugarte was one of the best players at the Copa America and he intends to play a key role for the team in their World Cup qualifiers. He said, I am happy to be back to defend the national team in the qualifiers where it is very important that we continue on the path we are building. Uruguay have two upcoming games taking place during the international break. Uruguay versus Paraguay, Saturday 7th September, 12.30 a.m. UK time. Venezuela versus Uruguay, Tuesday 10th September, 11 p.m. UK time. Ugarte will then fly back to Manchester and try and prove his fitness to Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United's coaching staff. United are then scheduled to travel down to Southampton for an away game on September 14th, the first of five fixtures in all competitions during the remainder of September. Eric Ten Hag's approach of not fielding new signings like Manuel Ugarte on time has raised some serious questions about his decision making and its impact on Manchester United's progress. The club's overly cautious stance on Ugarte's fitness, despite the player's own assurances and readiness, highlights a recurring pattern under Ten Hag's management. Fans were eager to see Ugarte make his debut immediately after the international break, especially considering his strong form and fitness levels. Ugarte himself has stated he feels prepared and has been maintaining his fitness even while waiting for his transfer to be completed. His confidence and eagerness to play contrast sharply with Ten Hag's conservative stance, suggesting a disconnect between the manager's cautious approach and the player's readiness to contribute. Ten Hag's reluctance to integrate new signings quickly has been a recurring theme which can be frustrating for supporters. It's understandable to be cautious with player fitness, but Ten Hag's comments that Ugarte may take a couple of weeks, maybe even months to be fully integrated seem overly pessimistic, especially for a player already performing at a high level internationally. This approach can stunt the team's momentum and delay the impact of key signings who are brought in to solve immediate problems. Ugarte's statements about his fitness and readiness to play show a player who is hungry and excited to make an impact. He is already taking part in Uruguay's World Cup qualifiers, indicating that he is more than capable of performing at a high level. Yet, Ten Hag's decision to delay his integration might suggest a lack of trust in new signings or an overly rigid adherence to his own protocols. This overly cautious handling could also send a negative message to both the players and the fans. For a club like Manchester United, which is in a phase of rebuilding and looking to challenge for titles, every point counts. By not fielding players who are ready to play, Ten Hag risks missing out on crucial opportunities to strengthen the team immediately.
The cautious approach might also disrupt the flow and chemistry of the team, particularly when new players like Ugarte, who are excited and ready to contribute, are kept on the sidelines. Given Ugarte's price tag of £42 million and his proven quality on the international stage, delaying his introduction might not be the best strategy. The manager must balance caution with the urgency needed to compete at the top level, especially with a packed fixture list ahead. Ten Hag's approach should be more flexible, trusting players like Ugarte when they express readiness and integrating them as quickly as possible to maximise their impact. Manchester United needs all hands on deck and waiting weeks or months for new signings to adapt could cost the team dearly in their pursuit of success this season. So the big question is, will Eric Ten Hag's cautious approach pay off or is he holding back a player who could be the game changer Manchester United desperately needs? Only time will tell if waiting to unleash Manuel Ugarte is the right move, but with the season already underway and key matches on the horizon, every decision matters. What do you think? Should Ugarte be starting right away or is Ten Hag right to be cautious? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on all things Manchester United.